What is good guys, back with more tournament coverage, this time Sakri vs Twix for ulti round 1. We got two similar teams right here, I think the Zemo Visa is most likely the Greninja on both sides and then leftovers Heatran. Uh, most likely a Command Clefable on Sakri's side which could be... Like I could see Sakri having T-Wave on either the Clef or the Ferrothorn to help with the Mega Alakazam matchup. Uh, uh, AV Tangrowth on Twix's side. Then the Coco might be a bulky variant to help him with the Halucha matchup. Uh, rocks are gonna be on the Heatran on Twix side and then Defog either on land or Coco most likely on the Landris. Mega Alakazam looks scary from, from both sides. So we see Greninja vs Feralite. If I'm Sakri here I would go on the Landris um, to scout for HP fire over all out pummeling just in case this is a Protein Greninja. Um, I guess if you don't fear the Greninja having a move to hit the Ferrothorn you can also just stay in here. But yeah Twix is most likely gonna go on the Heatran. If he doesn't have a move to hit this with, otherwise he's gonna go for a coverage move like HP Fire, Low Kick, or that Pummeling. So I would have gone into Landris there if I was Sakri as they exchange hazards. He stays in with Ferrothorn and Heatran, reveals T Wave. Uh, makes a risky play knowing that Twix Tree is most likely just gonna go for rocks. Now Sakri is gonna switch here into either Greninja or Alakazam as what does Twix Tree go for? He gets paralyzed, which sucks for him. Now he has to switch out into either, into either AV Tang here or into his hard Landris, expecting a Focus Blast. Because, like I said, he's most likely Scarf Landris. Um, Sakri is relatively free to go for Psychic. Also, if this Alakazam is Calm Mind, this could be really scary for Twix. Let's see. It's gonna trace region here, which is also good for Sakri. It is Calm Mind, wow. So, he's now gonna be able to fire off a Psychic um, as Tangris obviously has to go for Knockoff because of the Spadef boost. And now, Twix really doesn't have a counter for this. Like, I guess he can try to get the Greninja in on a Psychic. And then. Even if it's Ash Greninja, Water Shrinking will not kill because of the Spadef boost and he wouldn't, he wouldn't need so many hits. And the only way he, Hard Greninja he has to play potentially is if he's Scarf Gran. Um, he wants this Tangros around because it can check the Greninja. It can block Leech Seed from the Ferrothorn. It's just a good pivot in general that can also knock off leftovers from the Clef, from the Tran. Um, but yeah, he doesn't really have a switch in. I don't know what he's gonna do here if I'm being honest. I think Sakri just clicks. If Shadow Ball kills, that's also a potential play. Otherwise, he's just gonna click Psychic. I don't think he's gonna click Focus Blast. Unless he's fearing Trick Street to be Scarf Gwen and go hard into Gren here. Um, I guess another potential play for Sakri is going for Recover if he has that. We have seen Kick as I use a Calm and Recover. Um, I think Psychic and Focus Blast Alakazam and World Cup vs Brofist. So Coco's gonna get sacked off here. Yeah, he did, really didn't have a switch in. And Sakri knows that and just goes for Psychic. Okay, so that works out for him. If he recovered, it would've worked even better. So Landris comes out, it's just gonna click a U-turn here. Uh, Obvious Scarf, Landris, Clef. Um, now we're gonna see either the Greninja, the Alakazam or the Heatran from Twix. Uh, Heatran is paralyzed though, so I don't think we're gonna see the Heatran. I think we're gonna see either the Alakazam or the Greninja. I'm wondering what the Greninja set is, if it's Ash or if it's Protein. It did switch out of the Ferrothorn as if it doesn't have Low Kick or HP Fire. That was a bit odd to me. Um, that Sakri didn't scout for that early on in the game. I was really surprised by that. But it worked out for him, so what can I say? So Greninja could come out and threaten us with a Gunk. Zam could come out. Um, Clef always runs mixed, like Fist Death, not mixed. Fist Death in Sun and Moon most of the time. I still think Calm Clef has some use um, to check Alakazam better. Uh, but if you run Kong Clef, then you need like other ways to deal with Zygarde, which is really annoying. So we're just gonna see a Psychic here. Uh, Command is also option if he has that. He is just Psychic, okay. So um, this is a Spadef Ferrothorn, which can potentially live a Focus Blast from here and threaten us Alakazam with a T-Wave or with a Power Whip. Uh, I think Trix might want to switch out into Heatran here. Which is, this is also like an obvious play though. I mean, it depends on the Kalk here. If Focus Blast kills from here, then Sakri might want to pivot into his Landris because that can eat up a Focus Blast, but he does just go for Power Whip instead, so he could probably live a Focus Blast, otherwise he would not have stayed in there. Um, yeah, Trix just went into this because it could have eaten up a Power Whip. It could have blocked the Leech Sheet, and now he's most likely going to go for a knockoff. Sakri going hard, Ninja tells me he's most likely Z move Gren, exactly. And now he can threaten this with an Ice Beam over the Gunk Shot, over the HP Fire. And yeah, Trix doesn't have a great switch in. Uh, he could potentially go into Tran, which would cover Ice Beam and Gunk Shot. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is like bad for Twix overall. He's probably gonna switch here though. Um, this is probably um, Protein Greninja, just revealed Z move, and otherwise, you wouldn't bring it out on the Tangros if you Ash Greninja, exactly. And he does gonna try and break the gunk shot. Now, 
he might want to scout for like a low kick or hydro pump, but he doesn't have a great pivot for that. He pivots into Landris, but like let's see if he predicts that. He does predict that and go for Ice Beam. Yeah, like I was gonna say, Trix doesn't really have a scout that like he doesn't have a great scout for this because Landris covered low kick and and, and um, it didn't even cover hydro pump. Yeah, it didn't cover hydro pump, but also didn't cover Ice Beam, which uh. Sakri knew that he would scout there, or if Trent stayed in, it would have gotten paralyzed knowing um, how para works. Um, I mean, it was like likely that Trix wasn't gonna just sack the Trent. It was kind of obvious that he had to scout right there, so I kind of agree with Sakri's play. Um, it was aggressive, but like, it worked out. So Focus Mass is gonna do a lot, because he obviously has Protein. Um, obviously destroys the heat Trent. I forgot about him tracing Protein. Now he has to click, in the, has to click off quick, kind of here, because... This is a fighting Alakazam, fighting type, because of Protein, which means U-turn will do nothing. So Tangros is the play here. Does he predict that in U-turn? I mean, he could U-turn if he plays aggressive. He does play aggressive right there. I mean, to be fair, that was like that was like obvious Tangros. But if the Zam stays in there on a U-turn, that would have been rough for Sakri, because he probably would have had to sack something. So that was a high-risk play from Sakri that worked out for him. Now we could see a knockoff here to get rid of the leftovers from the Clefable from the Tangrowth. And now we will see if this is a Command Clef, which it most likely is. And that's gonna be hard for Trixie to get rid of because his Heatron is already paralyzed. And Alakazam cannot beat Clef um, after Clef commands up. Um, unless Alakazam also has T Wave, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't have T Wave the way he plays this Alakazam so far. So he's gonna have to. Uh, a potential buy here for Sakri is also Moonblast, but he goes for Hard Command. I was gonna say Moonblast is an option. Just in case Trix tries to go hard Greninja on a Calm Mind or on like a different move, like... Trix kinda has to sack something to this Clef, or he has to try to go hard Gren on a Calm Mind. Like he doesn't have counterplay for this really. Um, I assume he has gunk on Gren. Did he already show it? I don't know, remember if he did. If he doesn't have gunk on Gren, how does he even beat this? Because Heatran and Heatran is parallel, which means Clef just CMs up all over this. And yeah, it is Lava Plume, it's Spadef Tran, it doesn't even have, um, yeah, like it doesn't have a move to hit this. Even if it had Magnus Storm, it wouldn't beat the Clef. So yeah, he predicts a comment, go hard Gren, uh, confirming that he most likely has a gunk shot, otherwise he would never go into this, and Sakri just sacks his Clef. Really surprised that he doesn't scout for that. Maybe he predicted um, tricks to overpredict and uh, predict the Landris, but there was a plus four Landris in his face. There was no way he's gonna overpredict, so now he's gonna predict um, just a Psychic and go hard Alakazam, and this is Spita here. Uh, Sakri might not want to stay in here, he could potentially... I mean, if he lives... I don't think he lives the Shadow Ball from here, and it's a speed tie, so... Sakri might want to go Ferrothorn. Or, I guess, Hard Landris is an option if Landris lives a Shadow Ball, which I think it does. But he just wins the speed tie instead, yeah. Um... I mean, Scarf Landris was looking really good for Sakri at that point, so I guess he didn't need his Alakazam, even if he lost the tie right there. Um, outside of Tangrowth, Alakazam just uh, not Alakazam, Landris just won by clicking Earthquake. Uh, if Sakri was able to get rid of Tricks, um, Tangrowth. So I thank you guys for watching. This was a really short game. There were like some plays where I clicked um, a little bit too fast without thinking, in my opinion, but the plays worked out for Sakri. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna talk down on him. It was a fun game to watch, and I'll see you guys later with Game 2. Smash that like button if you enjoyed, and peace out, friends. And let's see if Tricks 3 can make a comeback.